My name's uh, Darren Selznick. Uh, I'm with Old Florida Fly Shop. Uh, I have a store in Boca Raton, Florida. And uh, today we're going to be tying this little dock light fly. It's uh, my design. It's called the What's Up Dock. Uh, it's been one of the better sellers in our shop for the last eight or nine years. And a uh, real simple fly to tie. It's um, not a lot of materials, uh, pretty straightforward. One of the big things we do is dub this fly, which is um, kind of unique in the saltwater world. We don't do a lot of that. Um, so let me walk you through this. We're going to start off with a 811S um, Tiemco hook size 6. We're going to use 210 thread. We just start right at the eye, and we're going to wrap back, and we're going to come forward and tie in a small size mono eye, and we're going to just figure eight that in with two or three wraps on each side. All right, once that's in, we're going to start the dubbing. A lot of people ask me about this technique. And um, it's really a freshwater technique that we're gonna do for salt. So we're gonna run the dubbing wax up and down. A lot of guys will create a dubbing loop. Uh, really not necessary for this particular fly. We're gonna use uh, ice dub uh, from Hairline in pearl. Uh, the other color I like to use is um, hot orange. The whole fly in hot orange looks good. So you wanna use a micro mount. So you just roll this onto your thread and work your way down the thread and we're going to do about three or four inches work. And once you get down here, we're going to just, we've left a little bit of space at the top here that we're going to wrap back to the rear and we're going to start working our way forward with the dubbing rope. If you run out of dubbing rope, just add a little bit more at the end. We're not gonna go all the way to the eyes. We stop short a little bit, and this is where we're gonna add our wing. The wing is gonna be SF blend. We're gonna just tie this in right on top. Couple wraps. We're gonna trim the butt sections. And do a straight cut, almost the length to the um, bend in the hook shank. Then we're gonna make an angle cut just to give it a little bit truer profile. This fly represents a little bait fish or a little shrimp, kinda of does it all. Next step is a topper of uh, peacock colored crystal flash. We're gonna just do two strands. Gonna wrap it around the thread and bring it up and tie it right in on top. And we're gonna do some cuts and we could cut these at a little different length. Then we're gonna go back to our dubbing and just dub a little bit more of the ice dub over the base of the wing and over the eyes. We can go a little bit thicker with this dubbing. We're gonna do about a five to six inch strand. We're going to go over the base first, and then we're going to do another strand about the same length. Now we're going to just figure eight around the eyes. We also want to do a little bit behind. We just want, I'm looking for a little bit of evenness in the back. Once you get that, I'm gonna just pull back the fibers, do a little whip finish in the front. And then there's just one more step to finish this fly off. And this is probably the most important step is just picking out some of the dubbing. The ice dub is a little coarse dubbing. It's gonna stick out really nice. And all these little fibers that stick out is this is what gives this fly life in the water. You want to make it look ugly because that's what catches the fish. All these microfibers is what will pulse and move in the water. And that's it, the finished What's Up Doc. Hope you enjoyed the fly.